Um, we've had a full day of um, oral history training. Um, some of us have never actually done any oral history before. Um, we were very new to it. Some people had done it before but have said they've gone away and they've learnt something from it, which is fantastic. Um, and this is all to set us up for tomorrow morning when we're having a, a coffee morning where we're inviting people to come and chat to us about their memories of Kirk Burton. Uh, I'm Rita Vigent, uh, I'm new to the area and I just want to learn about things, what's going on and would like to participate in this, the Jubilee event. Um, how to use the machines, which I'm not up to date with normally but I've really enjoyed that and basically learning about how to go about interviewing and the correct procedure. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, uh, tomorrow morning we've got a coffee morning and I would like to um, try and help get some information out of people that know about things in Kirk Burton and High Burton and try and get some things from them that are interesting and we can put down into writing and then onto audio. And okay, my name is Ken Christie. Um, I'm um, currently doing a BA at Huddersfield University and I'm helping Rachel in terms of the oral history side of the project. I think a lot of good practical advice on how to carry out oral history by somebody who's obviously done an awful lot of it and, and knows exactly how to get the best out of it and also I think some useful um, kind of ethical and legal advice in terms of you know, how to make sure that what we do is usable and that we, um, we respect the rights of the people who are giving us the, 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 uh, the, the information. Now, we, now we got, we've got to go and do it now, so it's a question of trying to get as many people as possible from as wide a way, age group as possible to, to take part and then for us to, to use those as, as part of our uh, uh, project on, on Kirk Burton. It is, it's actually happening the whole of the Jubilee weekend. It starts on the Friday the 1st of June, uh, right through to Tuesday the 5th of June. Uh, we're open uh, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Saturday to Tuesday. Um, Friday is private views for schools and um, and um, we're inviting some of the care homes to come down and have a look around and see what we're doing. Um, but as part of this, we've been involved quite, work quite closely with lots of other people within the two villages of Kirkburton and Highburton. There's always been um, a little bit of a difficulty sort of gelling the two villages together um, and we're really lucky that we've actually been able to work very, very closely with the Kirk Burton High Burton Community Association, um, the uniform groups, the, the All Hallows Church, the Business Association and just general people that live in Kirk Burton to bring together a whole weekend of fantastic events. Um, on the, uh, the Saturday, uh, Friday night with the beer festival um, up on Gregory Field which is the uniform groups, they're having a pub quiz and barbecue. Um, Saturday we've got the uh, exhibition here and the one at the church. The church has got a real coup because they're doing a history of wedding dresses but also they've got the um, uh, Huddersfield University and Brighton University preparing um, replica wedding dress and coronation gown of the Queen. Um, so that will be open uh, uh, so Saturday to Tuesday as well. Um, on the Sunday, Highburton Village Hall, um, they're holding a big eat where you bring your own food and have an indoor picnic. There'll be children's entertainers and all sorts of things happening there. A um, couple of local uh, people are opening their houses for afternoon tea. Um, and on the Monday here, if we can get the road closed, we're hoping to have a bit of a street party outside the hub. Um, with again with some entertainment um, we'll see what we can do with getting the road closed, barbecue, that sort of thing. Um, so there's an awful lot going off. The bus local business association have been brilliant. They're supplying all the flags to decorate the village. Um, the, all the businesses will be invited to, um, to decorate their shops and there'll be a competition for the best dressed shops. So lots and lots of things happening and it's really cohesive. Um, and what we're hoping as well is we've put in an application to get some funding from the Denverdale Parish Council for them to put on their minibuses from the Denverdale Centre to travel around the Denverdale and Kirkburton wards picking people up, dropping off uh, en route. So again, if people don't live in Kirkburton, they can still come and visit. Hopefully in the morning, we're having a coffee morning um, and hopefully just some interviewing in the morning. This is the residents of Kirkburton. But I think my main task in the morning would be to record um, photographs, etc., etc. June on the um, anniversary, well, the Queen's Jubilee, 
is that they, uh, we're going to present an exhibition in this uh, hub in Kirkburn um, and it will be of all the people's memories, all the photographs, uh, the interviews that we are going to do will be on CD. My name's Jo Tadaga. I am here because my grandma volunteered my services. <laughs> um, she's grown up in this community and my mum grew up in this community um, and I, I've studied oral history so yes, I was, I was, I was volunteered. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to make a film next um, which we hopefully will make available on a DVD so everybody, um, we can show that to everybody and you know, say this is what this community is about. 